Angela Giles here. I'm so glad you took a minute of your time to chat with me briefly and let's talk a little bit about personal growth in your business. Personal growth is huge. It is what takes you from no success, a little bit of success to massive success in your business. And you're probably thinking, well, how, why? You know, what does personal growth do? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I thought personal growth, I like personal growth. I like reading, I love reading. I'm a mommy of three small boys. Seven, nine, well, nine and a half, six and a half, and four and a half. They're cute, they're busy, they're crazy, I love them. And I have a lot of energy because of the company I'm in and just my personality, but here's the thing. I didn't think I had time for personal growth. I mean, who has time when I've got three small boys chasing and an internet business and a husband that's always, that loves me to pieces and chases me around even after being married for 11 years. I mean, I didn't think I had time for personal growth. And I always thought, oh, you know, I'll do that, but I never got around to doing it. And here's, here's what's the difference it made in my life. What happened is, is I read something and it talked about, it was just down to down and dirty and it was about personal growth and it showed me how personal growth, if I took the time to do personal growth on one hand and really learned about who I was, it would help me on the other hand and my business would be huge and successful. And I had heard that before but it gave me like a plan or it told me how to do it. And I thought, oh, it's A, B, C, you know, point, you go from a, point A to point C and it's easy, it's simple and it's amazing and it's effective. And here's how it is. Basically, with per personal growth, I can't even say it. <laughs> with personal growth, what you're doing is, is you're creating a person that is just an attraction magnet. You grow inside. As you grow as a person, you change. You become more likable. You become more attractive to other people. You resonate confidence. I mean, you're more confident in who you are. You know what your strengths are. You know what your weaknesses are. You start, you know taking your strengths and magnifying them and you take your weaknesses that you have and you grow them and you overcome them or you just turn them into strengths. You know, like for me, one of the things that I just like about myself is that I have an extreme amount of passion but sometimes I have a quick temper and I get angry quick over something. What I've learned to do with, through personal growth is take that temper and that passion and channel it into my business and into things that I really care about and the other things that are, that used to set me off are not as important anymore and I've learned how to let them roll off my back. And you know what? I've always had a ton of friends, but I have more and more friends or more and more people calling me and contacting me because they've seen a change in me or they like who I've become or they just see who I am now because I am a happier person. I have more passion for things that are important. And that's just a personal example about me. So all you need to do, it's so simple, it's just amazing, is take 15 minutes out of your day, 30 minutes out of your day, whether it's in the morning or at night, and take that time for yourself and do some personal growth, whether it's doing yoga, whether it's reading, whether, you know, if you're um, reading personal growth books, you know, self-help, if you're into God, you know, if you're a religious person, reading your scriptures, you know, if you're more just no religion at all, reading spiritual stuff. I mean, it could be anything. Whatever makes you tick, whatever makes you, you know, things you need to learn. And then once you've done some reading or listened to some CDs, take some time and do some inner reflection. Actually let the things sink in and start letting your subconscious work on them. And then what you can do is you can regurgitate it all out because as you let things come inside of you and just you master who you are and then you share them with other people whether it's in the form of a video, whether it's in the form of an article, whether it's in the form of a forum chat or things of that nature, you will become confident. People will see you as a leader. They will say, you know, I want to be like him or her. And that's all you have to do is simply find value in yourself and give that value to others by reading, listening to tapes, doing whatever it takes, whatever is going to be your personal growth venue. And then letting it sink in, seeing how it really reflects on you, taking the time to do some inner soul searching every single day. It doesn't have to be a lot of time. If it's only 10 minutes while you're driving in the car with the music turned off and just letting your mind be at peace, if that's all you can do. You know what I started doing? I had to go lock myself and sit on my toilet. Literally, 
because my kids would chase me everywhere. And that's the time I took. I would sit on my toilet, you know, with the lid down, just sitting there for 10 minutes, and I would just let my mind rest and think. And it is amazing. You know, I might wake up in the middle of the night with a new thought or something that I wanted to do or I had so much more confidence. And that's all I encourage you to do. And then I put that confidence, took that thought, and I put it into action. So let's recap. Spend some time with personal growth, whatever it may be. Reflect upon it. Then take what you've learned and let other people share with other people, whether it's in the form of a video, articles, forums, you know, just offline chatting with a friend or someone you meet at Starbucks, whatever. I did that today with someone that I met when I was getting my toes done at, and we started talking and I started to share with her some of the values that I have and some of the confidence that I have gained just through personal growth. And it's amazing. She left me. She left me a long note along with some business cards of her husband's because our husbands are in a similar line of work, but a note with her email said, I love meeting you. Please contact me. I didn't ask her. She asked me, which I wanted to talk to her anyways, but the point I'm trying to make is, is because I exuded confidence and I was sure of myself because of the person, the time I took to, to master personal growth for myself and my business has exploded as a result of it. So, God bless you. Once again, I'm Angela Giles. Please rate this video, especially if you like it. I'd love that. Please chat with me anytime. I'd love to hear your story. I'd love to be of any help that I can to you and enjoy your personal growth journey.